question. I mean, it's really quite wild how crazy we are over money. Hello, Transurfer, and welcome to my video on money. I mean, this is like a huge topic for human beings. This is such a powerful, energetic entity or force or whatever you want to call it that sort of commands almost all of our attention. I mean, it's really quite wild how crazy we are over money. It can make our happiness or break our happiness or keep us on an emotional roller coaster when things are uncertain and it really can become problematic if you don't adjust your importance levels and understand what money is exactly. So I'm actually gonna break that down to the best of my ability in this short amount of time and uh, give you my two cents on it. But first, my reprogramming sticker contest. I've got infinity of these. If you want some of these stickers, thumbs up and comment in the comment section below. I love reality transurfing. I am pulling a grip of names every week and sending these personally myself. So you might just get a little care package of these babies in the mail. So with that money. So first off, what is money exactly? Money is a, um, it's a reward or a product for our energy or efforts. Uh, channeled in to a singular goal. So if you work a 40 hour work week, you get a paycheck. If you, if you make something and you sell it and you collect a profit, then that time that you took to make the thing ultimately paid out with money energetically. So what, why are we so crazy about it then? And why does it command such emotion? Well, if you missed my topic, uh, I think the last video I did on sex, it all has to do with our, our instinctual drive as human beings. This is not rocket science and I'm sure all of you probably know this just as much as I do, but there are two things that we are programmed deeply to do as human beings. The first thing is pro procreate, which is sex. And the second thing is survive, which is money. And obviously we can't have sex unless we survive. So money is kind of like the, the God, the end all be all. If we don't have it, we don't survive, we don't procreate, we're irrelevant. This is all the stuff that pendulums try to um, project in our direction to keep us adhering to the script of others that may be more powerful than us or other entities that may be more powerful than us, like government or employers or spouses or parents or, so if, if and lots of people have experienced many issues with money because someone else uh, had their own script running and your intentions weren't in line with their version or their script that they were running and this probably got some had something to do with money right so this is why lots of relationships have problems this is why lots of uh parent child situations there are issues and obviously the biggest one is employers right this is the number one hook that the employer pendulum utilizes to keep us hooked in. So here's the deal. It's cool if you feel like you're getting a fair shake, right? If you feel like you're getting a fair shake and you're getting what is owed to you for your energetic input into the equation, then it's fine. If you're not and there's an imbalance occurring, let's say you're working long hours 
for a wage that isn't enough and your heart isn't really in the deal. So this is probably a time that you may want to start renegotiating with that pendulum or considering other options. And I know this is really like a big, huge, um, well, God, how do I do that? And well, I, I, need, I need to pay my bills and all of this stuff. And this is really where importance comes in to play in a very, very big way. So I've had lots of people message me over the years saying, how do I drop importance on money? You know, how do how does one actually go about dropping importance on money? How am I going to pay my bills or how am I going to survive if I drop importance on money? So dropping importance does not mean stopping doing the thing or stopping to care about the thing. Dropping importance doesn't mean, oh, I'm just going to sit on the couch and I'm not going to worry about going and making money anymore. The key word in there was worry though. So a lot of people worry. They worry about money. They worry about the source of money. They worry about how much money is flowing into their reality. They worry about when it might stop. They worry about other people that they have relationships with in their money situations. So pendulums really have our antennas up if we're snails, right? If we're ultimately responsive snails and we're freaking out when the environment changes or pendulums push some information into our reality that get us to respond, right? We freak out and we, we become responsive. And usually this responsiveness is rooted in worrying. Oh my God, I'm not going to have enough. Oh my God, when's the next thing going to come? I know with the pandemic situation, lots of people are tripping about money, right? Lots of people are worrying, but the reality of it is, no pun intended, worrying does very, very little, if not works against you in your reality. Worrying actually does nothing. So you can care about your fi financial situation, but if money isn't gushing in like a flowing river, or if money has ceased coming in at all, right? You sitting at home having immense amounts of anxiety, tripping, worrying about money. It is not going to help you at all. In fact, it is going to keep you occupied, right? Maybe even connected to the pendulum. Let's say you just lost your job and you're worrying. Well, what does that do? Maybe you feel inclined to keep watching the news because you want to see if things are changing and what's going to happen and oh my God, I got to survive and all this stuff. Whereas if you could just care without worrying, calm yourself emotionally, bring your emotional responsiveness down and simply think of methodical and systematic action that you can take that will help you to achieve either a new income stream, a secondary income stream, come up with an alternative plan, do what it is you can. So if you're doing what it is you can and you can do nothing more, then what is the value of worrying? Where does that actually get you? So I teach this stuff a lot in my Mo Money course. I have an entire course dedicated to managing your perspective and your thoughts regarding money, and then also creating more of it by taking action in your life. Again, sitting on the couch, watching the news, tripping about money is not taking action, but you can do other things to affect those future frames and ultimately have your reality respond to you, your, your mirror respond to you with more money coming in your direction. But again, this has to do with importance levels, taking action, knowing when you are hooked into a pendulum, feeding that your energy rather than you taking it back for yourself and doing what it is you need to do to create more of it. So with that, I am open for enrollment with my courses. If you would like to join my Mo Money course, 
please email me renee at transurfing.us. There's only, I think, eight seats available, so it's very, very limited. But email me if you would like to uh, reserve a seat, and I will announce the date shortly. Thanks so much for watching my video, and everybody, thanks. Bye.